East versus West doesn't give me that same um, electricity. It doesn't give me that it's lacking what WAL had. It's lacking what you did at Arm Gods, where you had you set the tone and you had all the people around and the people were ahu, ahu. Everybody's like rooting for their guys. I believe that is key, and I believe that's where we're missing on East versus West. It's not the yeah. same in-person atmosphere. Because you've got a different a different culture. I mean, you um, like you sat there in Turkey, right? And and they're not beer swilling. They're not they're not having a few beers. And we all know when you have a few beers, you get a bit giddy and a, a sarsaparilla or two, and you're loving life, right? You get some. They don't have like disco music in the background. They don't have a beat to keep you moody to get you know to feel it. And and all this is part and parcel. Like all these other sports, like boxing and st- darts. They can't be wrong. Just look at darts. 30 years ago, Paul, 30 years ago, it was in a in a local Catholic club. They were playing darts, drinking a pint, and they had six people watching them. Look at it now. You've got seven, 16-year-old kid who's a multimillionaire from playing darts. They're all there's thousands of fans in, beer swilling, lifting 180 up. It's fucking wild. They're all over the world, and it's just a guy going, <laughs> that, that's not exciting it's not exciting but everything they do around it the way that they get the people attached to it you know like fucking shit to a blanket that's the way it's building the entertainment because people want to be entertained you don't watch a movie and think oh I'm watching this movie because I like I like the way that they've made that nice blue set in the sky oh that's a nice piece of tumbleweed you watch a you watch a movie because you want to be entertained. Everything and that's just life. So what do we do? We entertain people. Now the thing is, East versus West is the best promotion. Of course it is. It's amazing as a purest thing. And it will hold attract- on, Paul. Before you, before you say it is the best promotion, I want to say it's the best promotion for arm wrestling purists. I yes. wouldn't say yeah. it's the overall best promotion because if you ask me the question. Who is the best promotion to get non-arm wrestlers watching? It would be King of Table. Because King of Table were the ones that did the Levon versus Devin. They were the ones that are doing these like really next level big ones. That was the only match that I heard where every non-arm wrestler knew that match was going on. For that like six months leading up to that match, I had everybody, every non-arm wrestler knew who, had, who Devin Lorette was. They knew who Levon was. You know, that yeah. I started saying to myself, yo, we're getting somewhere. This shit's getting mainstream. All non-arm wrestlers, as soon as I say I'm an arm wrestler, first thing they say, oh, that big match between Devin and that Georgian guy. That that was hmm. always what they were saying. Yeah. So, you know, when you say but, with the promotions, man, East versus West has got its place with the arm wrestlers. But I don't see that as the one that's growing our sport at all. 